टूडे वी विल डिस्कस वेपर एब्जॉर्शन सिस्टम ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन द वेपर एब्जॉर्शन रेफ्रिजरेशन इज अ हीट ऑपरेटेड सिस्टम एंड दिस इज ओल्डर दैन वेपर कंप्रेशन सिस्टम एंड इन वेपर एब्जॉर्शन सिस्टम ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन कंप्रेसर विच इज यूज इन वेपर कंप्रेशन सिस्टम दैट इज रिप्लेसड बाय द कंबिनेशन ऑफ एब्जॉर्वर एंड जनरेटर so now we discuss the main components of vapor absorption system of refrigeration the absorption system consists of mainly of the evaporator absorber generator condenser and uh, in the mechanical system the refrigerant vapor that is pumped by the compressor directly from the evaporator to the condenser whereas in vapor absorption system the refrigerant vapor from the evaporator is a refrigerant vapor from the evaporator is absorbed and here it is condensed in the absorbent absorbent solution in the absorber and from here the solution with the dissolved refrigerant that is pumped up to the high side that is generator so this is the solution flow to the generator from the absorber and refrigerant vapor that is released from the absorbent solution by heating it in the generator so this is the refrigerant vapor that is produced with the help of heating and uh, thus the energy input for this uh, refrigeration cycle is the heat energy in the form of steam or hot water or direct fire using natural gas or fuel oil instead of electrical or mechanical energy in electrical that is the motor in mechanical that is the engine so instead of uh, electrical and mechanical energy employed in the mechanical vapor compression system so it is directly steam or hot power are used for heating purpose so now we can explain the basic absorption refrigeration cycle as follow the refrigerant used in the absorption system that is highly soluble in the absorbent generally ammonia is used as refrigerant and water is used as absorbent the evaporator and absorber as we can see the evaporator and absorber these are interconnected so these are interconnected so the refrigerant vapor so this is here refrigerant vapor that is formed in the evaporator and uh, this is absorbed by the absorbent in the absorber so the refrigerant vapor that is produced in the evaporator when it is supplied to the absorber and here it is absorbed by the absorbent that is the water is the absorbent used in absorber as a absorbent so the absorbent due to strong affinity of the absorbent for the refrigerant and uh, thereby maintaining the refrigerant vapor pressure in the evaporator at low level required for continuous vaporization of liquid refrigerant to obtain the refrigeration so to remove the refrigerant from the absorbent it is pumped from absorber to the generator as we can see to remove the refrigerant from the absorbent uh, this is pumped from absorber to the generator and where it is heated with the help of steam or hot water so in domestic refrigerator of water ammonia system a kerosene flame or electrical heater is used for heating and on heating on getting heated the absorbent releases the refrigerant vapor as we can see the from here the absorbent releases the refrigerant vapor 
as a high temperature and pressure vapor and the liquid refrigerant then passes this is the liquid refrigerant that is passes on to the evaporator and uh, thus completing the refrigerant refrigerant cycle and here the absorbent flows back from the generator to the absorber as we can see here this is the solution to the absorber so here absorbent flows back from generator to the absorber and heat is generated when the refrigerant is absorbed by the absorbent that is known as the heat of absorption or heat of dilution and uh, further refrigerant vapor condenses in the absorbent solution the refrigerant vapor that is condensed in the absorbent solution and for this latent heat of vaporization of the refrigerant vapor has to be removed so therefore the absorber also needs cooling and for this cooling medium used for condensation is first passed through the absorber and then to the condenser and the main thing is here the heat rejection of an absorption system is higher and so require higher rate flow of coolant and then mechanical system so we can say here the rejection of heat uh, of an absorption system that is uh, higher than the mechanical system mechanical system is the vapor compression system and here uh, the coolant used with that is air uh, and water and now we can see here with the help of some animation the working of vapor absorption system of refrigeration so the cooling tower capacity the cooling tower capacity for an absorption machine therefore should be much more than that of the mechanical vapor compression system of the same capacity and uh, here two thing uh, two main important points are here here we use the refrigerant and absorbent generally the refrigerant used that is the ammonia and absorbent is the water so now both uh, refrigerant and absorbent both have the separate path and uh, now i can discuss the path of the refrigerant that is uh, follow following in this particular <coughs> diagram the refrigerant uh, path is that starts to flow from evaporator to absorber and from absorber to generator and from generator to condenser and from condenser to evaporator so this is the complete path of the refrigerant evaporator absorber generator condenser and from condenser to evaporator so this is the cycle path of the refrigerant that is uh, ammonia and the path of the absorbent that is uh, separate different from the path of the refrigerant so path of the absorbent is that is from absorber to generator yeah we can say absorber to generator and from generator to absorber so this is the path of the absorbent as we can see so the important point is here the absorbent solution passing from generator to the absorber so when absorber solution then passing through generator to the absorber is hot and has to be cooled that it can absorb the refrigerant so on the other hand absorbent solution sent to the generator the solution that is sent to the generator that is cool a cooler and has to be heated in the generator for regeneration of the refrigerant and a cell and tube heat exchanger is introduced between the generator and the absorber that is known to seen in this diagram so today we have learnt about the 
वेपर एब्जॉर्शन सिस्टम ऑफ रेथरीजेशन एंड द मेन पार्ट ऑफ वेपर एब्जॉर्शन सिस्टम ऑफ रेथरीजेशन एंड हाउ इट वर्क द वर्किंग ऑफ वेपर एब्जॉर्शन सिस्टम एंड हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द मकैनिकल वेपर कंप्रेशन सिस्टम so subscribe to get more updates and universe double 2 you may like share among your friends and students you can ask your queries by commenting give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day